Hello, my name is Matt Lumbers. I'm the product line manager for the utility locating products here at Subside Electronics. This afternoon, I'd like to go over how to connect a Geo 7X Trimble GPS to a UtiliGuard advanced system. We're going to start by turning the units on. Once the Geo 7 has booted up, we're going to go into the start menu, which is the bottom left corner. We're going to go into settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth. And we're going to look up at the top of the screen. You're going to see COM ports, devices, and mode. We're going to touch mode. And we're going to make sure that the Bluetooth device is turned on. So we're going to have an X in this box. And we're going to make sure that the device is visible to other devices. So we'll make sure that there's an X in that box. At this point, we'll go over to the receiver. We're going to push and hold the top right key to go into the menu. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to communications. We're going to go to Bluetooth. You'll see two options, connect GPS or unpair. We're going to go into connect GPS. At this point, the unit's going to search for devices. And what you're going to look for is the name, Geo, and then the serial number, which is located at the bottom of the decal on the back of the Geo 7X. And if you'll notice, Geo, and then the serial number has popped up. So I'm going to scroll down and select this. What we're going to wait on is our Geo to ask us if we want to accept. And we're going to hit yes. We're going to enter a code of 0, 0, 0, 0, four zeros. And we're going to wait to them to pair, for them to pair up. This may take several minutes. If you noticed, we got a connection failed. I'm going to go right down the list again and select that. Again, on the receiver, and give it a second chance. On the second try, it connected. We're going to select Advanced on the Geo 7. And we're going to save. Now we're going to go over to the Start menu again. On the receiver, we're going to hit the Power button one time. We should see a Bluetooth icon. On the Geo, we'll go into Settings. We're going to go to Connections. We're going to go to GNSS connector. Notice that there's a Bluetooth COM port here in blue. It's asking us to connect. So we're going to connect this. We've connected. You should see a blue light blinking. And on the locator, you're going to get a target icon with the flashing circle. When that icon turns solid, you've got actual GNSS data. Right now we're inside of the building so we're not seeing that data so this light will blink and eventually time out. That's how you connect a Geo 7 to a UtiliGuard Advanced Receiver. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to use the Bluetooth accessory with the UtiliGuard Advanced Receiver. The Bluetooth accessory plugs in to the accessory port just like this and it will simplify the connectivity interface when using Windows Mobile devices, which your Geo 7X Trimble unit is a Windows Mobile device. We're going to go ahead and turn these units on again.
you're going to notice that there's a flashing icon in the receiver. We're going to go into the start menu on the Trimble. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to make sure that the Bluetooth device is turned on and make sure it's visible. We're going to go over to the menu button on the receiver. Scroll to settings, communications, Bluetooth, and connect GPS. We're going to again wait to see GEO and the serial number of the unit we're trying to connect to. It has showed up. We're going to select that. We're going to wait a few minutes while the Bluetooth devices talk to each other. We're going to wait till the GEO7 asks us if we want to connect. We want to hit yes. Again, zero, 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 zero as the passcode, and next. I'm going to go to advanced, click on serial port, save. Now you'll notice that we've got a GPS icon in the bottom corner. This means that we're that the receiver is wanting to stream data to the Trimble. We can't do that because the Trimble doesn't have any software to recognize the communication. So we'll go to Start, Settings, Connections, GNSS Connector, and we're going to connect to that Bluetooth. You'll notice the icon changes. We've got a blue blinking dot and we're ready to store data in the receiver.